Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I want to give you some inspiration and I'm going to show you some startup company ideas and I'm going to show you 15 of the most awesome new businesses that are coming out and uh, really gaining a lot of traction now. Some of them are already doing business, some of them are still working on their um, amazing products and I'm going to show you 15 of these great ideas so you can kind of get some of your own ideas, maybe get some inspiration from them, or maybe even become a customer and go check them out yourself because it might actually help improve the quality of your life. So, number one is Roadie. Roadie is a really cool new startup and it allows a kind of Uber meets UPS service that pays you to deliver packages when you're on the way to a destination, whether it's to work, to the gym, to run an errand, etc. And if you're already on your way over there, why not get paid to drop something off on the way? So you can take a couple of seconds to just go drop this package off at someone's door and then go on to uh, wherever it is you were already going. It takes advantage of people already on the road in the excess storage space in our vehicles. So you get free roadside assistance, roadside discounts, and tax write-offs on miles you would be driving anyway. So, like I said, if you're already on the road on the way to somewhere, you can just get roadie going and then pick up a package and deliver it for someone. You get paid to do it, kind of like how you would as an Uber driver. So, if you want to check out roadie, you can go to roadie Dot com and as you can see right now they're helping out with um, charity work as well and helping out with Baton Rouge going through some flooding but they do a lot of cool stuff and um, you just get the app and kind of sign up and do it and the next one is Z dot arrow so they are very futuristic in what they're doing they are trying to create the first um, flying cars that can actually be driven by everyday citizens on the road and in the air. So you could completely change transportation of the future with this. Um, you know, we all see these futuristic shows like iRobot and um, some of these other ones where the cars hover above the ground, they completely fly like in Star Wars or something. And these guys are the ones that are really trying to make it a reality instead of just something that looks too far off to ever become something we would use. So Z.Arrow, you can check them out. They're really, they're a great example of a company that really thinks big, gets ideas from, I mean, you could get ideas from movies of the future and stuff, and then you can try and create them and go to somewhere and get crowdfunded, put a team together, and if you feel like you can do something with this, you can really change the world. So they're even looking for people to hire to work on this. So, you know, something that could really change the world, you might even be interested in that. But these are guys that really think big and set a good example. Number three, Doctor On Demand. This was actually developed by Dr. Phil himself and his son Jay McGraw. And it's an app that connects patients with certified MDs who can diagnose and prescribe treatments for common ailments. So the thing is, 17 of the top 20 things patients go to the urgent care centers for can actually be treated over video. It's things like colds, um, flus, um, just these kind of minor things that um, might not be even worth the doctor's visit. So. You can get this app called Doctor on Demand. You can get it on your phone and you can actually put in some of your symptoms, things like that, and actually connect with a doctor over video, over text, things like that, and they can tell you what you need to do to get better in most cases, as long as it's not too super serious. So if you want to kind of check that out, you can go to DoctorOnDemand.com or get the Doctor on Demand app on your smartphone and it's a really great idea that can help a lot of people including 
everyday people like us, so, I mean, who likes going to the doctor anyway? This could really be a solution. Number four, Jibbo, which is a really cool little robot that actually like sits on a desk or a counter, and it's actually got like some personality in it, as well as artificial intelligence. So not only is it like your own personal assistant that can do a lot of stuff for you, but it's also got some personality to it. It's like a family helper, companion, and a communicator all in one. And Jibbo is a little like friendly robot, and um, it can it's almost like your little uh, robotic friend, I guess. But you can go to Jibbo.com if you want to join their waitlist and get yours or watch a cool video about it um, and get an idea of all the cool stuff that it can do. Like I said, it's like your little robot friend. It can help you with stuff. You can talk to it and it can talk back, which is pretty amazing. It's not something we've ever seen before. So um, just all kinds of stuff that it can do. And it can even learn things as it goes. So... I would check out Jibbo just to get an idea of, you know, the future of robotics. Maybe you can start a business like this, or maybe you just want to use um, the product. Number five, you can do, you can check out Hyperloop Technologies, which this is a really, you know, we talk about moonshots on some of these uh, podcasts and sites and stuff, and a moonshot is something that is just so big that there would be no competition, but you could change billions of lives with it. So moonshots would be things like global Wi-Fi for everyone, or um, Mars colonization, or asteroid mining, or you know flying cars. But Hyperloop Technologies is trying to change transportation altogether by having something that's way faster than even an airplane is. So it works on making a real-life Hyperloop that allows people and cargo to be transported anywhere immediately, safely, and efficiently. It's like a futuristic pod in a tube. As you can kind of see in the image, it's kind of a rendering of what it would look like. But they create this tube that gets rid of all the barriers of time and distance and makes it to where there's almost nothing, you know, even the air doesn't get in the way of the speed of this train-like pod. So you can go incredibly fast. You can travel across the world, across, across countries in, you know, fractions of the time that you can now. And if you want to check out Hyperloop Technologies, um, you can go to hyperloop-one.com. And they kind of talk about their project right now, where they're at, how it works, and the future of transportation that they are trying to mold. And it's a great example of how you can really think big and change the world. Number six is Gold Belly. So everybody likes certain types of foods more than others. Everybody loves their go-to destinations for those foods. And sometimes these places can be pretty far out of reach. Well, Gold Belly is the solution to that because they're an online specialty food service that delivers to consumers and skips grocery stores altogether. So they help bakeries, restaurants, chocolate makers, cheesemongers, coffee shops, and all these specialty places to avoid having to fight for shelf space. Instead, deliver straight to consumers. It allows consumers to get their favorite specialty foods like salmon from Seattle, deep dish pizza from Chicago, chili dogs from Cincinnati, you can get crawfish from Louisiana, barbecue from Texas, key lime pie from Tampa, Florida. It all kinds of stuff that you know these places are known for and have the best restaurants for certain types of foods and get delivered straight to your door without having to worry about grocery stores or traveling long distances to get the stuff. It's a really cool idea. And if you want to check out Gold Belly, uh, you can go to goldbelly.com. That's how you spell it, gold, B-E-L-Y. 
and, and all kinds of stuff that they include now. They have a lot of companies that they're partnering with. And just look at some of the food you can get. It looks amazing. And it might be something you really want to try out, or it might be something that inspires you to create another type of business similar. Who knows? Uh, number seven is Dog Vacay. So, a dog sharing app is what this is. And it basically helps you find an online community of over 20,000 pet sitters. So, we all have our pets, we treat our pets like part of the family. We go on these trips, we go on all these things. And who's going to sit for the pets? You know, do we have someone we can trust? Do we have someone whose schedule is open to do it? Do we have someone who the pet actually likes? And only 13% of these sitters are approved. So it's almost like, um, you know, you talk about the sharing economy and things like that. You talk about these companies like Uber and stuff trying to, it's kind of like how people can make money through these apps and stuff now, these real new generation types of businesses. This is another one that helps your dogs. And they have a really good approval process. Like I said, only 13% are approved. So you know they'll do a quality job sitting for your pets. And the thing is, Dog Vacay talks about how um, it makes it their their platform is so powerful because a lot of people just use it as a last resort for the first time and then they end up making it their number one option as opposed to getting the neighbor or their friend's kid or something to sit for their dog because it's so much better and they give such good care for their dogs. So if you want to check out Dog Vacay, you can go to dogvacay.com and as you can see, you can, you can become a sitter and you can hire sitters. So it's a really cool idea and really fills a need. Number eight is crowd energy. Crowd energy is really a cool idea because, you know, I'm all for clean energy, efficient energy, and renewable energy. It's going to be a big deal in the future. Just wait and see. But crowd energy is another moonshot type startup where they're working on ocean current turbines that will use ocean currents for clean renewable energy. You know you go to the beach and there's always waves coming in. Have you, have you ever gone to the beach and not seen waves coming in? I don't think so. So the ocean's currents have enough energy to replace fossil fuels and nuclear energy dependence. So we could get rid of the two most harmful energy sources to our environment by having something that crowd energy is proposing and working on perfecting to actually apply to our world and you know it can really help with climate change and pollution so it can help the environment it's a renewable energy source it's natural and really this could power a lot of cities so crowd energy if you want to check it out you can go to crowdenergy.org as you can see it's kind of an example of the uh, the technology they use there, and you can go look at it, watch some videos, see who's kind of talking about it, you know, Fast Company, Live Science, um, Yahoo, all kinds of big brands are covering them because it's a great idea. So another one is Cohilo, and Cohilo solved a huge problem in the medical care um, industry because it helps hospitals be more convenient and have the things they need all the time for their patients and it allows hospital groups to share their equipment and it optimizes usage and savings costs so it can actually save hospitals a lot of money and it makes it more convenient because when you can share equipment like this um, it's easier for them to get it to smaller locations or more remote hospital location so people don't have to go way across town to another hospital just because they don't have the right equipment at the one close to them. So it goes with the latest sharing economy trends where people are sharing things, you know, kind of like um, some of these other companies where like Airbnb or something where they are sharing um, their home with others who need to rent space or, you know, there's other ones like you can share your car for a couple of days, rent it out. The sharing economy is a real big thing with millennials. 
millennials are going to be the consumers that we rely on in the next few years as they get a little bit older, get more money, and as baby boomers kind of get older and stop buying as much. So Kohilo is going with the trends and really helping a big need in healthcare. If you want to check out Kohilo, you can go to kohilo.com and check out what they're doing here. It might give you some really good ideas as well. Who knows? Number 10, LexShares. LexShares is a really great company. Um, it's very creative because instead of investing in stocks or real estate, it allows you to invest in lawsuits. So there's always stuff going on in the courts. There's always movements. There's always people being sued. There's always big corporations having um, you know, disputes over something or somebody having disputes with big corporations. And this allows people to actually invest in the movements, the uh, laws, and things like that that they really want to see pass or they really want to see change in. So it connects plaintiffs and commercial legal disputes to investors to fund their cases. So some of these need quite a bit of money to win their cases, but they can make a lot of real positive change with their cases. So Lex Shares actually allows you to invest in these, and I think this is one of the, the coolest uh, government changing, law changing type of businesses I've ever seen. And I really don't think any other companies ever come up with this. So they really don't have any competition right now. And uh, so if you want to check out Lex Shares, you want to become an investor, you want people to invest in a, a lawsuit that you want to file or something like that, you can go to LexShares.com, get funding or invest. It's very straightforward. And it's a really cool idea. I, I bet you could come up with some really good uh, legal startups just by kind of going off of what they're doing. Or you might just want to take part in this one. You know? Number 11 is Casper. And I'm not talking about the ghost. I'm talking about the online mattress firm that cuts out all of the sales and decision making that we have to deal with when we go buy a mattress. You know, constant ads, cost of sales crap going on all the time with this because everybody needs a mattress. So instead of you having to go to the store, try out couple dozen mattresses, finally find one, and get it delivered, and get it put in, and pay all this money. Casper offers a simple solution. It's a semi-firm mattress in six sizes that is compressed, shipped in a box, like you see in the picture, to your door. It has a 100-night home trial and a no-question-asked full refund. So, really, not much risk involved when you have all that. So, Casper just simplifies mattress buying. They offer one type of mattress that's actually optimized for people who like firm mattresses, people who like soft mattresses, and everything in between. They've actually done a lot of testing to find the perfect type of mattress. They're very good at getting it shipped to you to where it's actually um, able to be put in a box. As you see, they kind of roll it up in a way so they can actually ship it to you. And... Um, it's just a really good idea because it gets rid of a lot of headaches and really just benefits everyone. So if you want to check out Casper, you can go to casper.com and check it out. So you can get a bed. You might come up with some really cool ideas for this. Um, and I think they're getting into sheets and pillows and things like that now too. But um, It's just nice to see something that simplifies something. That's a big problem that everyone pretty much has um, some kind of bed, it seems like. So they really just fill a need. And it's something that a lot of people probably never even thought of. Number 12 is Classy. And this is a crowdfunding site, but it's not just any crowdfunding site because we have plenty of those. But it's for social good organizations only. So in other words, this is a life changing, life-saving, and world-improving crowdfunding site. It does disaster relief, education, poverty, healthcare, all this type of stuff. 
So it really impacts the world in a positive way. It's for crowdfunding to help people who need it. It's not just another business. It's not just another gadget. It's actually something that impacts lives directly. So Classy is a great example of a company that's actually trying to do good in the world. So if you want to check out Classy, you can go to classy.org and check them out. They're really making a difference in the world and they're really taking off. I bet you could find something that you would love to invest in and uh, to help make your mark on the world as well. Or it might give you some great ideas to start your own business. Number 13 is pill pack. So we all know that people take a lot of pills, especially as they get older. It seems like so. This is a full service pharmacy that packages and ships medications and doses for every two weeks. So it's all organized. It tells you exactly what to do. It's in little packets like you see there. And it's so simple. It's so hard to keep up with pills all the time. You almost have to have a nurse just for that. And it's really filling a need. So the pills are organized based on time, date, and they're automatically refilled by the pharmacist like every two weeks so it's it's really automated and it's simplified and who doesn't need automation and simplification in their life especially when it comes to these complicated med medications that we know nothing about so if you want to check out PillPack you can go to PillPack.com kind of learn more about it and uh, get this going for you if you uh, take quite a few medications this could really be a big benefit or you might get an idea from this to start your own company that kind of builds off of it. Number 14 is Jet. And Jet is the newest uh, and maybe the uh, next big thing, but they are an online marketplace built to compete with Amazon and Walmart. So they're taking on two of the biggest giants in the industry which is a pretty uh, risky thing to do, but they feel like they have a really good chance because their annual membership fee is half of Amazon's, which is Amazon Prime, if you're wondering what it is. And they use an algorithm that adjusts prices in real time based on shopper's cart and guides them to offers that are cheaper to fulfill. So in other words, it's built like an Amazon or a Walmart, but it actually is geared completely to saving you money. So it's, it's helping you get the best deals you can without you having to shop around. It has an al algorithm that actually helps you lower prices and as you stay on the site the prices can drop. So you get 15% off your first three orders and prices drop lower as you shop and uh, they have everyday low prices, really fast delivery I mean, you can get all kinds of just household products or electronics, appliances, decor, even um, shoes and stuff like that. So they have better everything. They're kind of the next uh, Amazon competitor, but you can really save a lot of money with this site. So it might really uh, give you some ideas and you might want to try it out. And number 15, last but not least, is True and Co. And their whole deal is women's apparel. And the whole point of it is to stop focusing on um, how good it looks, how intimate it looks, things like that, and focus on data that helps women actually feel good in it, actually enjoy it, enjoy wearing it. And they're going from a database approach from 1.5 million plus women that they collected data from. So it's really changing everything for them. It's a science-based approach, which tends to work out pretty well. I mean, if you look at all these companies that are into analytics now, all these companies that are using algorithms now, these things really work. You can't just go with trends and stuff anymore and uh, commercials of models. You have to actually have some data to back it up to really create the best products. And that's what True & Co. is doing. They're bringing science to um, women's apparel. So you can check out trueandco.com here and uh, see some of their stuff. And, uh, you know, it's a really cool idea. I mean, they're, at, they're really applying science to apparel. And it might be something you could branch off of 
this is just women's apparel. You could do men's apparel. You could do um, winter apparel. You could do designer apparel. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. Or you might just want to use a product. Who knows? So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you uh, found some cool businesses that you didn't know about already, or you came up with some ideas from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. And if you want to include some newer um, startups that you think are really cool that maybe I didn't mention, or let me know what your favorite one on this list is and why, or just let me know what you thought about the video. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you and get the conversation going about the coolest businesses around right now. And if you want to contact me directly, if you want to get blog posts that go really in-depth on this kind of stuff, um, if you want to get some resources, some actual courses, let's think of step-by-step how to start different types of businesses successfully. If you want to get some tools you can use and things like that, you can go to uh, selfmadesuccess.com. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope you have a great day.